life of a human being is amazing from the cradle to the grave the human being undergoes changes at every second from the newborn to a kid then the kid becomes a teenager then the teenager becomes an adult and then an adult enters into old age so we can see that a human being changes continuously now not only human beings but matter around us also undergoes certain type of changes like a candle can undergo a change a glass of water can undergo a change as well as a sheet of paper also can undergo certain type of change now what type of change can these matter undergo a paper can be crumpled we can turn water into ice water can be frozen into ice the glass can break it can turn into pieces now what changes do you see when you crumple a paper like how is it different from this it looks ugly its shape and size changed so we can say that the physical appearance of the paper changed so when you crumple a paper its physical appearance changed but when we crumple the paper did it become anything else no we can still unfold it and write it on it now i had a white car and i painted it blue so what change can you see in my white and blue car the physical appearance of the car changed its color changed from white to blue so you can say that physical appearance of my car changed but did it become a new car no again if i take a raw onion and dice it what change can you see its shape and size changed it turned into smaller pieces so we can say that the physical appearance of the onion changed now if you taste this raw onion or you taste this diced onions do you feel any changes in the taste no so we can say that its chemical properties did not changed only the physical appearance of the onion changed now if i freeze this water it will turn into ice what happens the water changes its state from liquid to solid so we can say that the physical appearance of the water changed and its state changed from liquid to solid so all the changes you saw here were examples of physical change so what is a physical change physical change is a change in which the physical appearance of the substance changes what do you mean by physical appearance that is its size shape color and state changes how does the size change in our example the onion had changed its size in the case of shape paper had changed its shape when we crumpled it color the car had changed its color it had changed its physical appearance and state water had changed its state from liquid to solid when we had frozen it so a change in which the physical appearance changes but its chemical composition remains unchanged what do we mean by chemical composition that is its taste or you can say its odor or you can say its other chemical properties and chemical formula remains unchanged this does not change only size shape color or state of the substance changes now answer this is sharpening a pencil a physical change what do you think now when i sharp a pencil it will get smaller it will change its size but will it become a new substance it will become a pen no it will just change its size and just now we have studied that any change in the physical appearance only is called a physical change so sharpening a pencil is a physical change because only the size of the pencil
changes. Now, have you observed something? When I painted my car from white to blue, did I get a new car? No. My car remained the same, only its color changed. I did not get a new car. So, I can say no new product is formed when I painted my car. Now, when I had diced the onions from the raw onions, did I get a new product? No. The taste of the raw onion and the taste of the diced onions will give me the same taste. So, I can say no new product is formed. Now, when I had frozen this water into ice, did I get a new product? No. So, new pro no new product is formed when we freeze the water to ice. Now, an interesting thing about physical changes is that when a substance undergoes physical change, it can obtain its original size, shape, color or state. Just as in this example, ice can be melted to form water again. First what we had done? We had frozen this water into ice, but we know we can already melt ice into water. So, ice can be melted to form water. That is, the formation of ice can be reversed in the opposite direction. First, we had reversed water to ice. Now, we reversed ice back to water. So, this is a reversible process. That is, it can be frozen to ice and it can be melted back to water. So, this is a reversible process. Now, to get the original paper back from the crumpled paper, what can you do? You can unfold the crumpled paper, you will get the plain paper back. So, this is also a reversible process. However, you cannot consolidate the small pieces of onion back to raw onion. So, this is not a reversible process. This is an exception to the reversible process. So, what properties of physical changes did you learn? First of all, no change in the chemical composition of the substance. When we had diced the onions, the raw onion and the diced onions gave us the same taste. So, there was no change in its chemical properties. There was no change in its taste. So, there is no change in the chemical composition of the substance when it undergoes physical change. Its individual properties are retained. Like in our example of paper, when the paper was crumpled, it can be unfolded and written on again. So, it remained the same paper. So, its individual properties were retained. No new substances formed. Like when we had taken the example of our car, the white car had changed its color from blue. We had painted it, but no new car was formed there. No new substance was formed. So, when a matter undergoes physical change, no new substance is formed formed. It is generally a reversible process. Physical changes are generally reversible processes but with few exceptions.